Nothing quite says it's summertime like out there tubing with the family. And of course the goal when you're out there tubing with the family is to see if you can get some of the kids knocked off the tube. This boater takes it to extremes though to get them knocked off. Welcome back guys, it is your boy Broncos Guru and it is this week's episode of Boneheaded Boaters of the Week. Our first photo this week is going to show us what it's like when you pull into the dock and you want to get one of those speed docking maneuvers done. Here they're going to let their assistant off the vessel, but they decide we don't really need the assistant and we're just going to go ahead and throttle up and get this one done. So if you're trying to get into the dock fast, maybe copy what that guy's doing. Ah, the sweet boat ramp, probably one of the greatest shows on earth. If you really want to have a good time, grab a lawn chair, a six pack, and go down there and enjoy the show. Right here, this gentleman's going to give us a little feature of what you can expect to see. Obviously, he's coming to the boat ramp the wrong way. My favorite part here is actually yelling at the driver of his tow vessel and saying, go ahead, pull out, pull out, get out of my way so he can try and rearrange this. And all of a sudden, well, he's going to get pulled up onto the boat ramp by his own trailer. This guy forgot one of the first rules of the boat ramp, and that's always to stay calm and in control. He really had neither one of these going on. But you know what? Now he's going to have a fun time trying to see if he can get this boat back off the concrete. Our next motor is going to let us learn about that no wake courtesy. That's right, just because there are no no wake zone signs doesn't mean you can just come flying by in that dock vessel like this. Right here, you are responsible for your wake and you are responsible for any damage your wake causes. And typically in a situation like this, if there's vessels at dock, you are going to cause some damage kind of like this. Yes, I know it can be a pain sometimes to slow down, especially when it's not a labeled no wake zone, but it's a lot less of a pain than having to pay a bill to fix all this stuff. Our next boater is going to show us what it's like when we go out there and have a good time tinny bashing. This is one of Australia's favorite pastimes. We're about to see this young gentleman come through here and show you exactly how it's done. Where you get this little tinny up and, well, no, he's not going to show us how it's done. He's going to show us how to wreck one. The wild part's that this guy's friends actually let him try this, even though at the beginning of the video, one of them said he's going to wreck. Boating can be a fun experience, but many of us for sure learn as we go, kind of like these guys do right here. Might be a little difficult, let us zoom in, but you can see this boat is up on the rocks with all of its crew on the rocks as well. Apparently these guys have learned a lesson that in Dana Point, you can't really just anchor with a mushroom anchor with no chain and expect to actually have it hold. Matt Atliano, who set this video in, said he did try to rescue these guys, but a large surge caught him right before he could get to him and pushed him up onto the rocks. As boaters, we all make mistakes. It's bound to happen. We're all learning a hobby, trying to have a good time while doing it. Sometimes we'll come into the dock too fast. Sometimes we'll forget to have the lines out before we get there. And sometimes we'll make the biggest mistake of all, and that is not smashing the subscribe button right down below. That's right, if you do not subscribe to this channel, the Drain Plug Mafia will come get you and steal your drain plug. So go ahead and do yourself a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up so none of the thousands of members of the Drain Plug Mafia have to come out there and find your boat. And if you're curious how you can join the Drain Plug Mafia, the next time you're on Facebook, go ahead and search out the Drain Plug Mafia Facebook group. While you're there, you can grab the official Drain Plug Mafia stickers, or they can also be found on eBay just by searching Drain Plug Mafia. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you see anything crazy happening on your waterways, be sure to let me know on Facebook or Instagram, and you might see your story over here. Just like Doc Bailey, Don Hur, Matt Atliano, Orlando Perez, and Koshiba95 did this week. And as usual, drop an anchor on that subscribe button, or you know what's going to happen.